Hi. Today I want to talk to you about this new laptop I picked up. It's the HP Pavilion 15AB063CL. It has an AMD A10 8700P processor. It has 12 gigabytes of memory running at 1600 megahertz. Um, one is 8 gig and one stick is 4 gig. Comes with a 1 terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. It has a full HD display, 1080p touch screen. It also has a backlit keyboard and the Intel AC wireless with Bluetooth. So anyway, Let's have a quick look around the laptop here. Now this one I got on eBay. It's a refurbished. And I got it for only $519. It's a really good deal. The outer shell on this one is white. And I didn't get to choose the color. When you buy this particular laptop, from hp.com you can choose different colors but you're gonna spend more money doing it that way so this is the top it's all plastic HP logo yada yada here's the bottom now as you see it doesn't have a, a removable panel to access hard drive and memory Although you can go on HP's website, look up the model of this, and it tells you exactly how to remove the back of this to access the hard drive and the memory. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a pain, but it can be done. I don't know if it voids the warranty, though, if you take the back of this off. Now, over here... We have battery plug, Ethernet, USB, an SD card reader, and this one comes with a DVD drive, which I like. I like having a DVD drive. I hardly ever use it, but it's nice knowing that, that I got one. The front is pretty plain, nothing going on in the front. Over here, we've got our headphone jack, another USB, and HDMI out. And there's the vent and Kensington lock. And the back is solid black. It does come with a removable battery. It's a very small battery. It's a little thin thing right there. Alright, let's open it up. So here's what it looks like in the keyboard area. It's got a like dark gray to light gray fade going on. It's got the Hewlett Packard emblem. Can't really see it in this lighting. But it says Hewlett Packard at the bottom of the screen here. There. There, look, it lights up as I drag my finger across. And Got the pavilion stamp there and the BNO for the Bang and Lufsen speakers. Now, this laptop came with Windows 8.1. I've already uh, up updated it to Windows 10. So, let's boot it up and check it out. This will give you an idea of how long this thing takes to boot up. 
the hard drive is only 5400 RPM, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. Hey, there it goes. If I put an SSD in here, it might be better. Yeah, I know. Red 5. I'm a Star Wars fan. Can't wait for the new movie to come out later this year. Let me turn out the light and let you guys get a look at the keyboard in backlit mode. I really like the backlit keyboard when you're sitting in a dark room. It comes in really handy and it's really easy to turn it on and off. So let me turn that off, turn back on my light, and here you go. It's a black keyboard pretty solid. I like the feel of this keyboard. The keys are responsive. Uh, yeah. Touchpad. Mm, I prefer the old style where it had buttons down here. Now it's one long button that, I don't know. It works, but I'm not a fan of these one piece touchpads. But I got a wireless mouse. And that makes things a lot happier than using this. Oh, and you don't have the feature on older HP laptops where you can just turn it off. But, here you go. Here's the keyboard. Give you an idea of the color scheme on this. Gray to light gray. This is all plastic. And here we go. Here's a full HD screen. It's a touch screen. Makes it nice. I like having a touch screen for certain situations like installing apps and stuff. So you can get through all the dialog boxes without having to find your pointer and click and all that. And here comes Steam popping up. You can see how slow things are going right now. But that's the case with most computers. When you first boot them up, things open up slowly. But once things get into the hard drive's cache, they'll, they'll open up quicker. Like I could show you, Google Chrome took forever to open. But now that it's already in the cache, it's going to pop right up. See, it, it, Now, battery life on this thing, I get about four hours unplugged. I could probably get more if I tweak it. So, it's not the greatest battery life. And also, I'll show you the TDP on the CPU is is only 15 watts. I'll show you on CPU ID. You can see right here, it's only max TDP of 15 watts. But it's an A10 8700P. You can go to memory. See, you get 12 gigs. Uh, it's a PC3 12800 memory. Graphics are Radeon R6 graphics. And 
currently the CPU is switching between 2300 and 1200 but again it the max TDP is 15 I don't know if anybody's ever gonna figure out how to tweak this particular model but overall this is a really good laptop for five hundred and twenty dollars Full HD, 12 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, touch screen, backlit keyboard. It's got the Intel AC wireless with Bluetooth. See down here, and my little Bluetooth. So if you want to connect Bluetooth headphones, it comes with a DVD drive. So yeah, I found this on eBay. Maybe you can find one too. Otherwise, you're going to have to go to hp.com and do a custom build to get one with a HD screen, touch screen, and everything. Hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.